those are records as a matchmaker that you would look at and say, okay, based on who they fought, these are two bantamweights who should face each other next, and that's exactly what's going to happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next contest is in the bantamweight division, scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Richie Santiago. comes Richard Santiago, they call him Suave. Five foot seven, 136 pounds at the weigh-ins, 28 years old, fights out of Triforce MMA. And he's from a town my sister at home will be very interested in hearing. He is from Milford, Massachusetts. That's right. Richie Suave Santiago okay. is from Let's go, Milford, Massachusetts. In Massachusetts. The house. Me and Ma, that's right, Boston Strong, man. Yeah. Half my family's from Milford. No doubt, man, that's awesome. And also, George Rivera, who's here tonight, too, actually was one of his coaches. He's from Milford, Mass., one of my coaches, UFC veteran, obviously, pretty amazing, man. Richie Santiago, he was, uh, you know, Massachusetts had a big amateur show called Cage Titans, and he was the champion of that. So that's speaking for itself. He was a champion of Cage Titans, and you better know this guy is the top prospect in the world. You know, obviously, 8-2 and two pro record, man fighting out of Providence, Rhode Island, Triforce. Um, you know, black belt under Pete Jeffrey. So we're going to see some good things out of this kid, man. All these Boston kids, Massachusetts kids are tough. Uh, I would know. <laughs> That's right. Pressure fighter always moving forward. Great elbows. He's a southpaw. Great ground and pound. Just a, just a real grinder in there. He's got that very impressive 8-2 record. Seven of those eight wins came by means of the rear naked choke, so he's got great subs, great ground and pound, and let's meet his opponent right now. And his opponent, out of the red corner, Alberto Monte. They call him the promise. The 26-year-old weighed in at 135.6 pounds at the weigh-ins yesterday, fighting out of MMA Masters, undefeated. Every time I've watched this guy fight, he moves so well, he's so fluid, he's so athletic. Yeah, no doubt, man. And training out of MMA Masters under Daniel Valverde, black belt Daniel Valverde, one of the best jiu-jitsu guys in the world. You know, he trains with UFC fighter Danny Chavez, then you know, Gaston Daniel, man, this guy, he's, he's, he mixes it up with some of the best guys in the world, so. Cesar Carnero, his striking coach, you can see him there. And uh, the rest of the MMA Masters team, they've, they've got a great school, one of the top schools in Florida. They always put out top shelf product. And Alberto Montes is one of their new studs, 26 years old, has never tasted defeat. Yeah, man, that's huge. Anytime you go in there with an undefeated record, it's something special. You know, I started my, my career 9-0 with, you know, amazing start to a career. And there's something about when you have that O, like, it doesn't even cross your mind ever that you're going to lose. Like, that's, you know, full confidence. So that O is pretty special that he has that. And uh, it means something going into the fight. And, you know, he's going in there against a tough guy in Richard Santiago. Maybe that confidence of yours is how you've managed to stay in the UFC for six and a half years which is really remarkable. It's such a hard thing to stay in the UFC, so congrats on that. We need to talk more about your upcoming fight, but there he is, the promise, making his way into the cage. All right, I can't wait to see this bantamweight fight. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this one is in the bantamweight division, scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing first out of the blue corner, this man walks in with a record of eight wins, two defeat. He's a wrestler who weighed in 136 pounds, fighting out of Milford, Massachusetts. Here is Richie Suave Santiago. And across the cage, out of the red corner, this man walks in undefeated, four wins, no defeat. He's an expert in Muay Thai, Taekwondo, and Jiu Jitsu. He weighed in 135.6 pounds, fighting out of Barquisimeto, Venezuela. Here is a 
aquí está la promesa, the promise, Alberto Montes. And when the action begins, your referee, Alan Abelis. Gave you the instructions in the locker room, obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. If you want to touch him up, go ahead, come out fighting. All right, good sportsmanship there between Alberto and Richie. Uh, no reason not to. Richie Santiago Suave fighting out of the blue corner. He's got the blue trunks and the black lines. And this fighter breakdown brought to you by Art Is My Life. Yeah, Santiago has, I think, tons of rear naked choke uh, finishes in his career. Alberto Montes, he wants, he wants to look for some Muay Thai. He has really good on the feet, so, you know, I don't think it's Jiu-Jitsu versus MMA striker, you know, Muay Thai, but it's going to be a good matchup. You know, you know Richie Santiago has those rear naked choke finishes. Yeah, Santiago had his hands down there, Charles. That's ill-advised against the Promise. Promise has got some really nasty head kicks. Yeah, definitely. The Promise looks like he has some nice athleticism. You oh can see God. he's really on his toes. <laughs> Santiago just marching forward like most of the Massachusetts natives do, but you know, he is what he is. You know, I'm sure he's tough as nails and could take a punch. That's one thing for sure, usually from those Boston kids. <laughs> you know, Boston's repping in the cage. Yeah, I talked to his boy Randy Costa, who, you know, I'm sure if he's putting rounds with him, then, you know, Randy Costa introduced me to Richie, and man, like, Randy's one of the best strikers I've seen, you know, in, he's signed with the UFC, for those who don't know Randy Costa, and he trained a lot with Richie, so I'm sure Richie's seen this before, sparring with Randy Costa, and there's that head kick by Montes. And Alberto Montes is getting the best crowd reactions out of every strike, easily than any fighter here to this point tonight. Have a chance to see Richie's takedown defense. Oh, he's looking for that guillotine. He's into that anaconda choke. If he can roll through here, it's over. But it's really getting tight. If he can lock the legs and lock the legs, it's going to be a finish. But Richie Santiago battling out of this one right now. Santiago sensed it and moved with it, moved in the right direction. He's still not out of danger yet. He's still caught in this anaconda choke. This is a tight choke. They call it the anaconda for a reason because it slowly seeps the air out of you. And it looks like he's going to sleep. Yeah, his head is jacked right now. It's twisted the way it shouldn't be twisted. He's, he's, he's out. He's out. It is all over. Are you kidding me? Alberto, the promise. Montez finishing off. Richie, Suavez, Santiago. Santiago is night night. What a impressive fight. I'm, I'm what an impressive job of winning that the promise demonstrated here in the Titan FC cage here tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I think Santiago was out for a lot longer than people realized. I saw that it looked like he went out about 10 seconds before they stopped the fight. So, um, you know, I just, I don't think the ref could see it right there, but you know, really hats off to Roberto Montez. I mean, he, he, he kept his promise. He told me he was gonna finish this fight and he did. Well, right now Santiago has leg movement. He's okay. So thank goodness for that. We're gonna send Boston Strong into the cage to interview the Promise and ask him why he took out one of our Boston boys. But that's all right. Nothing but love for Alberto Montez and nothing but a bright future for the Promise out of Venezuela. Boy, MMA Masters said they had the new kid on the block. They weren't kidding. Oh my goodness. Good sportsmanship there too. Santiago gave Montez a big smile. Now right now, for some reason, oh, there we go. Montez is working the crowd here. Wow, and getting a big hug from Daniel Valverde, one of the best JITS practitioners in the state of Florida, pointing to some of his friends and family now here. This kid's got a bright future. Just 26 years old. Wow. Well, like Charles said, the Anaconda is called the Anaconda for a reason. It gets tighter and tighter and tighter until you will go to sleep. No one makes them tougher than Richie Santiago, but even Richie Santiago could not withstand that Anaconda.
All right, now we can send it up cage side. Rodolfo Roman for the particulars. Make this one official. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this contest comes to an end. Two minutes, one second in the first round for your winner. By way of Anaconda Choke, here is your winner and ganador, Alberto Montes. Let's go, Alberto the Promise Lopez. You. You kept your promise, man. You got that finish. It was a big win. Beautiful anaconda show tonight. Um, it looked, I could see you were seeping the air out of him. It looked like he was sleeping seconds uh, for a little while before the fight even stopped. Uh, did you feel him go out and go to sleep? Si revisan o todas las personas que están aquí saben que la anaconda es la técnica que me que me que me identifica. Y dije que esta pelea le iba a terminar por Anaconda. If you if you try to look, the Anaconda is my move, so I get identified by the Anaconda. See, sí, Domir, right? He went to sleep, but it was a beautiful performance, man. Big win. Congratulations. What's next for you? Finalización que sigue para vos. Eh, lo que sigue es lo que diga mi manager y mis maestros. Estoy ready para lo que sea. Mi rodilla está al 100% para todas las personas que me conocen, sabe que pasé por una lesión muy larga, en la cual pensé que no iba a volver a estar al nivel que estoy, pero gracias a muchas personas eh, que se pusieron en mi camino, pues puedo estar de vuelta al 100%. Whatever is next is whatever my manager and my masters say, I'm ready, my knee is 100%, What the people that know me know that I had a heart injury, but now I... I'm 100% and ready for everything. Man, we can't wait to see you back in there. Congratulations. One more thing you want to say. I, I want to say something in Spanish. Uh, gracias a todas las personas que me apoyaron. Gracias a mi familia que está viendo mi pelea en Venezuela. Gracias a toda la barra. Gracias arriba. Y gracias a todos mis sponsors que hicieron que esto sea realidad. Gracias a MMA Master y gracias a mi, a mi coach. Let's go, guys. Let's hear it up for Alberto the Promise.